Hello, welcome to my channel Christian Faith and Fiction. My name's Lou and today I want to share with you some Christian Fiction new book releases that are coming out in April 2022. These are the books that I've been able to find. If you know of any more, um, please do let me know down in the comments. So first of all, in historical fiction, A Hundred Crickets Singing by Kathy Gulk releases on the 5th of April. In wars 80 years apart, two young women living on the same Appalachian estate determined to aid soldiers dear to them and fight for justice no matter the cost. 1944, when a violent storm rips through the Belvedere attic in No Creek, North Carolina, exposing a hidden room and trunk long forgotten, Secrets dating back to the Civil War are revealed. Celia Percy, whose family lives and works in the home, suspects the truth could transform the future for her friend Marshall, now fighting overseas, whose ancestors were once enslaved by the Belvedere family. 1861, after her mother's death, Minnie Belvedere works desperately to keep her household running and her family together as North Carolina secedes. Her beloved older brother claims to his union loyalties despite grave danger while hot while her hot headed younger brother entangles himself and the family's finances with the Confederacy. Just Once by Karen Kingsbury releases on the twenty fifth of April. In nineteen forty one, beautiful Erville Ellis is too focused on her secret to take much notice in the war raging overseas. She's dating Sam, but in love with his brother Hank, and Erville has no idea how to break the news when the unthinkable happens. Pearl Harbor is attacked. With their lives turned upside down overnight, Sam is drafted and Hank wants to enlist, but Sam insists Hank stay home, where he and Erville take up the battle on the home front. In Contemporary Romance, Sea Glass Cottage by Irene Hannon releases on the 5th of April. Christy Reese is desperate, the one-time golden girl's life is tarnished and a cascade of setbacks has left her reeling. She needs help and she's certain Jack Colby is in a position to provide it. When she shows up in Hope Harbour, however, Jack wants nothing to do with the woman who betrayed him. He's built a new life on the Oregon coast, there's no room in it for Christy, even after she takes refuge in the charming but mysterious cottage nearby. All It Takes by Nicole Dees releases on the 5th of April. When the ever-cautious Val Locklear finally agrees to a cross-country move with her nine-year-old son to take a job with her best friend Molly, everything she's plan- she had planned for the future unravels within the first week. After pushing aside her anxieties about renting an apartment from Molly's twin brother, whom she barely knows, she accepts an invitation for an elite filmmaker's mentorship. Caught between her insecurities and new possibilities, she feels completely unprepared for the challenges ahead. Pastor Miles McKenzie returns home from abroad to discover that not only does he have an intriguing new tenant living upstairs, he's been banished to a ministry on life support. Disillusioned and restless, he pursues a relationship with Val without stopping to consider the timing or asking God to direct his steps. What Matters Most by Courtney Walsh releases on the 5th of April. Emma Woodston is hoping the cobblestone streets of Nantucket and the charm of her late husband's family cottage will be the fresh start she and her young son CJ need. Securing a dream job at an art gallery is one more step along the path to a new life and away from a piece of her history she hopes will never be revealed. Falling in love with the kind and handsome guy she hires to clean out the rental apartment above the garage wasn't part of the plan. Mulberry Hollow by Denise Hunter releases on the 19th of April. Contractor Wes Matthews has nearly finished hiking the Appalachian Trail in honour of his recently deceased best friend when he falls terribly ill. He stumbles into the nearest town and soon finds himself indebted to the beautiful young doctor who owns the clinic. In lieu of payment, he proposes a trade that that will keep him in town and away from obligations to his best friend's sister for several weeks. But as Avery and Wes spend time together, their friendship begins moving into unexpected territory. In Mystery and Suspense, 
The Souls of Lost Lake by Jamie Jo Wright releases on the 5th of April. Wren Blythe has long enjoyed being among the Northwoods, helping her father with programming at a young youth camp. But when a little girl in the area goes missing, an all-out search, an all-out search ensues, reviving the decades-old campfire story of Ava Coons, the murderess who still roams the woods. In 1930. Ava Coons has spent the last ten years carrying the mantle of mystery since she emerged from the forest as an eight-year-old girl, spattered with blood, dragging a logger's axe. She will. She has accepted she will never remember what happened to her family. The Catch by Lisa Harris releases on the 5th of April. After a harrowing attempt on a judge's life at the courthouse, Deputy U.S. Marshals Madison James and Jonas Quinn are tasked with finding a missing woman and an endangered child in connection to the murder of the judge's wife. What seems like a fairly straightforward case becomes hopelessly, entang hopelessly tangled when the marshals discover that the woman they are searching for is in witness protection and the amber alert put out for the missing child has put two lives in danger. Relative Justice by Robert Whitlow releases on the 12th of April. For the attorneys of Cobb and Cobb, the pursuit of justice is about more than legal expertise, it's a, ma it's a family matter. David Cobb is not a typical lawyer, he's more interested in dispensing God's wisdom than pertinent legal advice. High stakes litigation is way outside his comfort zone. For many years, Zeke Caldwell has been concocting home remedies made from natural ingredients found in the coastal marshes near Wilmington, North Carolina. One of his remedies proved so effective that it, he patented it with the help of David's father. Now he suspects a big drug company has stolen his formula. What he doesn't know is that the theft has deeper, more evil roots. This next book has been described as contemporary fiction, but I think it's a dual time period um, novel. The Master Craftsman by Kelly Stewart releases on the 5th of April. In 1917, Alma Pill, a master craftsman in the house of Fab Fabergé, was charged to protect one of the greatest secrets in Russian history, an unknown Fabergé egg that Peter Karl Fabergé secretly created to honour his divided allegiance to both the people of Russia and the imperial Tsar's family. When Alma, Alma and her husband escaped Russia for their native Finland in 1921, she took the secret with her, guarding her past connection to the Romanov family. Three generations later, world-renowned treasure hunter Nick Lane is sick and fears the secret of the missing egg will die with him. With time running out, he entrusts the mission of retrieving the egg to his estranged daughter, Ava, who has little idea of the dangers she is about to face. So, I'm not quite sure. I thought that was a dual time period one. It might be contemporary. It might be a mystery. <laughs> Finally, in fantasy and sci-fi, um, the book Arena by Karen Hancock is getting a 20th anniversary hardback edition, and that releases on the 26th of April. Transported surreptitiously to a terrifying alien world with limited resources and only a few cryptic words to guide her, Callie Hayes finds herself engulfed in a perilous battle for freedom for her very life. After agreeing to participate in a routine psychology research experiment, she must unravel the mystery shrouding her only route of escape or risk succumbing to the deadly deception of the arena. So those are the books that I've found for this month. Um, let me know in the comments if any of them sound like books that you'd want to read in the future. If you found this video helpful, uh, please do give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos about Christian fiction, then consider subscribing if you haven't already done and uh, click the notification bells if you want to know when I have released a new video. Okay, I hope you have a really great reading week and until next time, God bless. <laughs> Bye.